hello guys welcome to the c programming tutorial in previous lecture we have uh, drawn a pattern of right angle triangle and in this lecture we will draw a pattern also of a right angle triangle but in this the base will be upper side and top will be lower side first of all let us see the logic behind printing this right tri angle triangle this is roughly a sketch of this right angle triangle here the first line consists of 5 stars this is made by hand so this is looking some odd and these are these all are the setup here these are rows and these are columns in previous lecture we have made a start of this pattern where what we noted that we note that as the number of rows increases the number of stars increases but in this example as the number of rows increases the number of stars decreases here these are the decreasing of number of stars in first number of rows there are five stars in second number three stars in fourth number three star and in sorry in three number three star in four number four star so guys for to do so what we have to do we first we have to first loop to change the number of lines that will same and to update the star in columns we have to apply a another for loop in which we have to decrement the value by one every time in previous we incremented the value from 1 to 2 and 2 to 3 but in we will decrement this let us see the code for this first of all include the file so that we can access to the get get ch and CLR, cr and also printf and scanf Wide man, wide man, int i comma j. And also this clear in to ask user how many rows he want. Clear the screen. And here, screen tap. Enter the number of rows. and scan f percent d address of n and here our coding will be start first of all for uh, rows we have to change the line so to change the line we will write this code as simple same as the previous one this is only for change the line and updating the value of i and here in second for j is equal to n n is how many suppose this is a 0 sorry 1 and it is equal to n and j must be larger than 0 and j plus plus now print f what the star sorry j plus plus name here i have to write j minus minus that will give logical error if i will write j plus plus and right here star stop and here change the line percent n close the for loop here how it's working let us see for i is equal to 1 means 
our first loop i will be smaller than 1 when it enters in our first loop completes here enters in first loop and here for j is equal to n and j is smaller than sorry larger than 0 and every time the value of j is decremented it will print in first loop it will print a star 5 times ok it will print a star in 5 times and comes out of this loop and in next loop once again line will change and it will go up and once again the value of i will become what 2 so here i have made a mistake and here will be i why because here in first loop value of i is 1 so it will larger than 1 so it will print j n 5 times star 5 times in second loop the value of i will become 2 and hence it will pr print 5 to 2 means 4 times stars why because every time the value of j is increment decremented and here the value of i becomes 2 by incrementing the value of i above i becomes here 2 and in the this iteration it will print a star 4 times and once again line will change and once again it will go to the here and here now the value of i will become 3 and uh, j will larger than 3 so in third iteration it will print 3 number of stars so run the program and check it is right or not oh it's printing 4 it's correct but here is some mistakes that will be 0 and yes right it's finer now and why it was printing only four times because we started from zero and a smaller equal to n and here it it was printing only four star y because the value of i was one and here value of j was n if i want to put here one then we have to put here n plus 1 we can check this now this fine we have to take care about logics whenever we we are printing pattern we have to take about every logic why here n plus 1 comes and why here n i equal to 1 comes we can make it i equal to 0 no problem we can and also here if here i is equal to 0 then here we have to write n only not n plus 1 and this is printing star and the for loop initial in this for loop always change the line when it completes and this is also called nested for loop we nest two for loop into a single for loop and we can nest more than two many for loops within a for loops so this is a code to print reverse right angle triangle and in next lecture we will print a simple square the coding for a square will be very simple and very easy you will see in the next lecture if possible then practice for the squares otherwise i will be available in the next lecture so guys thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel and share among your friends thank you guys